I strive for perfection. Ever since I was a little girl, I knew I had to be like the women I see on TV. Tall, thin but not too thin. Be able to fill out your clothes, but don't you dare gain too much weight. Otherwise, you're undesirable. I remember when I was in middle school. Every night I used to pray for the perfect body, hoping that one day, God would have mercy on me and bless me with the body I believed I was meant to have. I wanted hips and a full figure. I didn't want to be just me. I wanted to be the girl who stood out. I wanted the other barely pubescent boys in my school to chase after me, like they chased after the other girls. But unfortunately for me, my genetics failed me. No hips and no boys. Not only was I basically shaped like a cereal box, but I was black, with a nose a little too wide and lips too full. My hair didn't blow in the wind like the other girls. Mine was stiff, and I didn't stand a chance. Um, I will be playing a medley with It's a Grand Old Flag, Yankee Doodle Boy, and Give My Regards to Brian. The problem with society is that we start grooming girls to be perfect from birth. We bombard them with images and expectations, not even giving them a chance to grow into their own individual, be their own person. Does it ever alarm anyone when a five-year-old starts calling themselves fat or ugly? Why is it normalized that children can't be children anymore? Little black girls grow up thinking that it is okay to be sexualized from an early age. Put on a skirt too young and suddenly you're being fast. Your body develops too early and now automatically it's your fault that creepy old men are trying to talk to you from in front of the corner store. When is enough enough? The misrepresentation of black girls in media has always been prevalent. First we were Mammy and Jezebel and Sapphire and now we're on reality TV. Black girls don't get to live their lives the way they should. Everything is an issue. You got a relaxer, you're trying to be white. Coarse natural hair, you don't take care of yourself. Braids, ha, now you're ghetto. Weave, just give it up. This is what they all say, but why can't I just live? With the climate we're living in today, it is almost impossible to not compare yourself to every image we see. Try this hair product and that one. Your hair still isn't shiny enough. It doesn't have enough volume. Now try this one. Your skin isn't clear enough? This skincare line will surely do the trick. Nope, not good enough. Here's another. And it's a vicious cycle. But how does it end? With the knowledge that whoever you are is enough. Yes, I know. Easier said than done. Trust me, been there, done that. In the United States of America, Eurocentric beauty standards are ideal. It is what we are told to strive for. And when we don't meet these expectations, we are left feeling not smart enough, thin enough, worthy enough. When we as humans gain the knowledge that not everything is black and white, that beauty does not have a right and a wrong, then we grow. We are born into our bodies. We start as a blank canvas and we mold them into what we believe we are or should be. If augmenting your body is the course you take, then great. Hopefully you do it for yourself and not for the approval of others. Our bodies are ours, no one else's. Nourish them, refresh them, appreciate them. We only have one body and this journey of love and acceptance is never over. We just need to have the power to keep moving forward. It all depends on